Okay. We're almost done with the Legacy United stuff. It's time to do 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 Oh wait, no, that's Beast Wars. I was trying to do Pokemon thing. This doesn't even look like Pokemon. What was I even doing? I don't know. Yeah, we're talking about Snarl. This is the one I am very, 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 very excited for. Because while I'm not a huge fan of Beast Wars Snarl, number one, was the, when was the last time we got a Beast Wars toy in Legacy outside of, like, Leo Prime? Like, that doesn't count. That's, that's, that's Japan Beast Wars. That's cool and all. But, like, that's not real Beast Wars. Real Beast Wars is my sheltered experience. Okay, when was the last time we got that? Like, the tail end of Legacy. But Mr. T, this is Beast Wars 2 as well. See, it even says Beast Wars 2. No. Leo Convoy was a toy exclusive to Beast Wars 2. This is literally just the second year of Beast Wars Snarl. It would essentially be the same as saying that Magmatron is a Beast Machines toy because... Well, we got him out here in the West under that line. Like, no, he is originally a Beast Wars Neo toy, and Snarl is originally a Beast Wars toy. Don't give me that bullshit. <laughs> Don't give me that Beast Wars 2 crap. It is Beast Wars 2, in the same sense that Air Razor and Inferno are Beast Wars 2. No. Get out of here, fucking nerd. <laughs> 20 steps, 20! I was expecting, like, 5! Oh, I am excited to get this guy opened up. So, let's just get it reviewed. I'm not... This thing's too small to do it. Probably not. Uh, screwdriver? No. Uh, all right. Oh, hell yeah. I like the buzz. Here comes the bro fist. God damn it! Okay. So, here we have Snarl. And I have to say, man, this it's just so cool to have this. This is great. Like I said... Not only is this the first Beast Wars toy proper we've had in over a year, but also, this is a non-show character. And, well, I mean, technically, yes, he is in Beast Wars 2. But, I mean, still, this is a character who wasn't on the show that people actually watched. So, it's really special to get one of these. I mean, man, this is just so, so neat. Now, as for his actual qualities, you know, the review aspect, he's fairly good, but he's not perfect. First off, he's got this gap in the head. Now, granted, you can mitigate the gap by properly tabbing it in, but it still looks like he's been scalped. Also, his back legs, they do look... They do look quite silly, don't they? He also does have some unfortunate kibble right here that's very very obvious so you know i talked about oh who cares about fake parts if they're hidden away properly i mean i don't know man <laughs> i don't know the real ones right there fake ones right there like that looks what you will but i mean otherwise this is a fairly nice alt mode it's super clean it's very proportionate and of course per usual when it comes to the modern beasts it's very accurate to the real-life animal. I don't really know too much about Tasmanian devils. They're, like, <laughs> so probably assholes. But they did do a pretty good job. I do like how he has the stripe from head to, well, unfortunately not tail. Like, really? I feel like they probably could have put some black on here. That would have been quite nice. Now, he's actually quite articulate. He's got an opening jaw, fairly nice, but don't close it too much because then it can get kind of hard to open it back up. And I'm fairly certain that if you do that, you're going to chip the paint there, so yeah, be careful. He does have a ball joint right here. It's at a little bit of an awkward angle, like that looks a little low, the socket, but hey, it's not too bad. And if you disconnect this, he also has a joint right here, but it's not that useful, so I don't know, just keep it plugged in. He's got a ball joint here, and then he's got this little wrist. That's pretty much it, but hey, you know what? It's fairly decent posing when it comes to a core class Beast Wars alt mode. So not bad. Can you get him to stand up? You probably could, actually. Uh, I mean... <laughs> there you go. I mean, it looks more like he's trying to howl. Wrong species, dipshit. Here's a comparison between him and Rat Trap. This is really the only comparison that I want to do. 
I mean, I could get the other Beast Wars characters out, but this guy wasn't on the show, so I'm not going to bother doing that. But this is another core class figure, and I do think this is a lot better. I do appreciate that he is bigger than Rat Trap. He has more articulation, and he overall looks more accurate. His undercarriage is also pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. I would love to see more of these, you know, like a Razor Beast. I really want to see how they do a Razor Beast. Although I can't really think of any other core class of beasties. I mean, I guess Clawjaw. You could definitely do some of the Predacons, like Power Pinch, but I was referring to Maximals, because a lot of them were, like, deluxe in range. Strangely enough, I actually think the Maximals were on average bigger. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Half the Predacons were insects, so, yeah. And here he is with the rest of Legacy United so far. Very excited to get Tiger Hawk, and in general... The rest of Wave 1, because it all does look fairly good. Well, not really this guy. But, you know, maybe he's just the exception. Hopefully. I believe, still. So yeah, alt mode. They did a pretty good job in recapturing Snarl, or excuse me, Tasmania Kid, in his beast mode. <laughs> Actually, I think, surprisingly enough, untabbing this tail is the hardest part of the transformation. Yeah! So this transformation overall, I mean, it's a core class. There's only so much it can do. Not that many cool feats of engineering outside of maybe shifting these shoulders down. There's a little bit of clashing parts here and there. But overall, it's core class transformation. About as average as you can get. And as for the robot mode, it's Snarl. <laughs> Snarl has probably always been the most average maximal ever so i think starting with him was pretty good I, even in like i think a beast wars story i made where it included literally everyone he was like the only dude who never underwent any trans metal forms and survived throughout the entire story because he's just he's snarl <laughs> there's the head sculpt he's kind of got a night scream thing going on with his ears and his youthful look so I mean, considering the fact that he turns into almost a rodent, I guess it makes sense. Also, I think Night Scream was the shortest character in Beast Machines. Like, sometimes I think it was even shorter than Rat Trap, who had no legs. <laughs> Overall, this is a pretty solid adaptation of the character. It does some things that are pretty cool. For instance, the actual jaws being heels, whereas the fake chest looking a lot more like how his chest would look on a hypothetical show, or probably Beast Wars 2 now that I think about it. But I didn't watch the show, let's be honest, man. did you, so who gives a shit? He also is one of those old Maximals that just had all the kibbles of the alt mode just splayed out on his back, but much like Rat Trap, they did a pretty good job of cleaning it up. He's only got the two legs. It's not, you know, considering the source material of the character, they did a pretty good job. I think really the only thing that I don't really like are his shoulders or his elbows. I'll talk about why in just a second, but a large part of that is his hands. I mean, it's Snarl. Those are like his beast mode legs, so I think it's fine. But, like, can't really do much with it. So, you know, it's, it's a little weird. I guess let's just get on to articulation. I don't know what else is there to talk about. Heads on a ball joint, go back and forth, up and down. Yeah, it's, it's a ball joint, doesn't really go left and right. He's got shoulders that are decent, but his elbows, well, they're a little bit awkward, because they want you to have it like this, 
and then you can do that. But I mean, it looks decent, but like, it's just, I mean, what are you going to do with that? But like, that's his port for his gun. So they kind of need to be like that. But you know, when not in use, I don't know his arms look a little oversized. It kind of reminds me of an Animorphs toy. Probably not the best thing to remind me of, you know, the worst Transformers toy line ever. But yeah, he also has a ball joint in the wrist. Mostly it's just a swivel, but also you can you can do that if you want. Not really that much application when it comes to that joint, but hey, at least it's there. It's got decent hips. They go forward that far, back that far. They go out a decent amount. It's got a ball joint knee. Goes There you go. And it obviously swivels. And actually, he has a ball joint and ankle. He does technically have a pivot, but it's the minorest of pivots. It's more along the lines of use for, you know, getting a steppy pose. So, is that a steppy pose? <laughs> Not really with this ankle. So, that's a negatory. But, hey, it swivels. That's a rarity. And I, I really miss ankle swivels. It's always a pivot or an up and down. Which, I mean, those are fine, but I do really like the ankle swivels. So... I'm not really going to get into the stance thing that I do with these Transformers because it doesn't really have an ankle pivot, but, you know, ankle swivels, just as good. So articulation otherwise, it's core class. <laughs> it, does, it does a pretty good job. But, you know, when it comes to his accessories, this is where I have the major gripe. I mean, it's not like a huge gripe, but major in terms of the context of the figure, which is overall harmless. Yeah, in order to get it to look right, you kind of have to do that, which... I mean, you could do that. There you go. I mean, it's always been a dumb-looking weapon, but... It's... It's Snarl. Well, let's get Snarl compared with his buddy. Not really buddy, but... Hype mate. Rat Trap. Always kind of bothered me that Rat Trap's toy was so small, because he was like Cheetor's height, or like Scorpinox. He really should have been a small deluxe. I don't really care about Snarl being such small scale, because, again... He wasn't on the show, so, like, you want to make him a small? Fine. That's cool. But, yeah, I will have to say that his colors, although they're toy accurate, because, again, he wasn't on the show, they do look a lot more accurate than Rat Traps, which I don't know why he had this. It just annoys me that they re-released this guy in the Walmart line. The gray was fine. The orange is what needed fixing. <laughs> but they changed the gray, so both colors were wrong. Why? Also, I don't know where his gun is, so, you know, there's the issue. But, you know, next to each other, it's 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 hilarious. That, like, the guy that was actually on the show has such a clean-up from his original toy. Whereas this is basically just... It's just his old toy, but slightly better. And here he is with the other Legacy United figures. And it's crazy to me that, like, Optimus is really the only one who stand out in terms of height and quality. But, I mean, I mean, Snarl... He's fine. It's just, this is the only one that's blown me away. So maybe it was good that I got this guy first, you know? Overall, I don't mean to sound negative. Don't don't take that away. This is a good toy. It's just... I don't have much else to say. It's Core Class Snarl. Do you know the original toy? Yeah? Do you know how modern Core Classes are? I say modern, but Core Classes are entirely a modern thing. But you know how they work? Then, yeah. That's it. Pretty solid toy. Very little problems, but also next to no surprises. Outside of the shoulder transformation, yeah, yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot, but, you know, I'm reviewing, and yeah, you just... Good. I guess now is a good time to talk about what I'm going to be doing with Legacy United. You see, the thing with Legacy and Legacy Evolution, the reason I didn't really review those figures in depth is because... I was planning on doing these big, super scripted, super edited videos ranking each individual figure. And the editing process, when it came to getting the footage, it is... I, I, I'm not familiar with that, so I just gave up. I, I, it's, it's gotten too late, and I'm gonna be honest, Legacy Evolution did take a lot out of me. I also didn't get a lot of the line. Like, I only got a handful of stuff from Wave 3. Two of them were good figures that were just the original toys and by the original i mean like the original armada megatron and the power of the primes beachcomber but you know slightly better and then i also got the broken armada which i won't stop whining about wave four was just uh, existed and then wave two I, it's like literally two figures and then there's crash bar which i i is so bland i completely forgot about it. so it's just mostly just wave one i could do a video on legacy but i don't 
I don't feel incentivized to do it, even though I have scripts written for them. So, I think what I'm going to do with Legacy United is, is... I'm really excited for Legacy United. Like, this line, so far... I know it sounds kind of negative, because I reviewed the Mulby, didn't love that. And I reviewed this guy, he was fine. But, let it be known, I am very excited for this line. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to review all the figures that I get... Because it seems that y'all do like when I review the newer stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. And then when I'm done with the wave, I'll rank them. Just not like a big video, just like at the end, do a little recap, and we'll move on to the next wave. So, yeah. Pretty exciting stuff going forward. Some new changes. I think this last year was mostly focused on like either alternate stuff that wasn't Transformers like Mini Mates or Star Wars did a surprisingly large amount of reviews for. And then for like Transformers, I mostly did the Rise of the Beast stuff, which was pretty fun. I still am not finished with that. I'll see if I can wrap things up because other than I think one figure, I think I got all of what I wanted. So... You know, this time, this year, I'm going to be focused entirely on Legacy United, because it does look fantastic. So, I'm excited to see what we'll be doing for the next year to come. 